Ohio is widely known as an agricultural state. To many Ohioans, the sight of a corn, soybean, or wheat field is second nature. However, growers in Northwest Ohio are capitalizing on a different kind of product. The Campbell soup plant in Napoleon, Ohio depends on local growers to produce carrots for several products manufactured here. Carrots come to the Campbell's plant in Napoleon and are used for two uh, separate uses, actually. Our beverage plant runs V8 vegetable juice during the summertime. Approximately half the carrots are used there. In our soup plant here, uh, carrots are also washed, peeled, and diced to go into our fancy soup products. I have been purchasing and ordering vegetables into our Napoleon plant for a little better than 20 years now. So I have some long-term experience with many of the growers that have been with us for a long time. And it's always a pleasure to work with them every year. One farmer that Charlie has worked with for many years is Tom O'Neill. Most of my carrots are raised for Campbell soup. I uh, have V8 carrots, which those are raised for juice, and so they can be a smaller carrot. Tom may say that he raises smaller carrots, but to the average person, his carrots are bigger than expected. You may be wondering just how these not-so-small carrots get from Tom's field into those familiar red and white cans on the shelf of your local supermarket. Well, generally, uh, as far as raising carrots, I start in the end of March and plan as, as quickly as possible so that we can take advantage of the spring rains. They usually take about six weeks to emerge. It's important that we keep the tops in good condition because our harvester picks the carrots up by their tops. We usually start harvesting at the last week of July and harvest would generally go through late October. The harvester has a digger knife which uh, digs about 12 inches into the ground and there is uh, belts that pick the carrots up by the tops. The carrot goes up the header to snapping bars. The snapping bars snap off the tops, the tops go out the back and the carrot drops down on the conveyor and goes through its procedure until it hits a dump cart in the trailer. Generally, we deliver to uh, Campbell's either a five day or six day week, depending on how the harvest is going and how things are running at the plant. Once in the truck, the carrots take a short trip from the field to the Campbell's factory in Napoleon. When fresh vegetables come to the plant, and most of them come in bulk trucks, and we have large hoist which lifts up those trailers and unloads, in this case, the carrots, those carrots go through a processing system where they are sized, they are, go through several washers and they're washed off, uh, cleaned up. Carrots then go to either dicers, if we're making them into soup, or they go into a crusher and extractors where the juice is removed when we're using those carrots for our V8 vegetable juice product. The Napoleon plant is a very large operation. We are probably one of the biggest heat process plants in the country. Uh, between our soup and our juice products, the plant this year will manufacture in the neighborhood of 90 million cases. In order to fill such a large order, planning ahead is essential. Mother Nature is a concern for all farmers, but with a schedule like Campbell's, Growers must be especially conscious of the weather. Weather can be a huge factor. It's very important to schedule our harvest. And, uh, and that, that goes right from the time we put the seed into the ground until we harvest it and send it to the plant. The farmers that we buy fresh vegetables from uh, are very committed to Campbell's. I find them to be very flexible in their harvest schedules. And when we get in a tough spot for a supply, they're willing to go out late in the day or on a weekend try to harvest for us or hurry a truck into us when we get short so they understand how busy our schedule is, how important it is to us to make that schedule. So they really work hard to try to make all that work out. Carrot growers aren't the only farmers working hard to meet quotas for the Campbell Soup Company. 
to the Napoleon plant, we are delivering roughly 800,000 pounds of vegetables a day. Approximately 60% of the fresh vegetables that the Napoleon plant uses year-round uh, come from our local growers here in the area. This is a substantial demand, especially for the small farms in northwest Ohio. It is not only the local growers that benefit from the increased need. The economic reach of the Campbell's company spreads much further. Campbell's is, is the largest employer in the Henry County area, and with about 1,200 employees here in the plant, we make a very large contribution uh, to the economics of the local communities. The Campbell's factory has been a great benefit to the community. Campbell's has been around a lot of years, and they've been very good to us. With an operation the size of Campbell's Soup Company, everyone, the company, the growers, and the community must work together in order for us to be able to enjoy our favorite soups. My family, uh, my wife and my children, they've all at some point in time been in the tractors or on the harvester and uh, without their help it would be hard to continue to do what we're doing here. The products that Campbell's makes here in our Napoleon facility are distributed both in the Midwest and the East Coast and particular products might go all around the country here. So chances are, when you buy Campbell's soup or V8 juice, it was made right here in Ohio. And you can feel mm -mm good that you're helping to support the families of local farmers.